Well, I think it would be interesting to get a, a game of hangman tattooed on your chest. But only the tattoo artist knows the answer. So um, every time you want to continue the game, you'd have to go back to the tattoo parlor. Uh, is there a G? Tattoos another body part. Darn it. You walk out. I thought it was Batman and Gobbin. Here's another tattoo idea. I think it'd be interesting to get a tattoo of like a, a dozen Easter eggs, but tell the tattoo artist to hide them. <laughs> And you know, if somebody finds all of the Easter eggs, you know they really like you. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to get somebody to like me. I'm back in the dating world, went through a breakup, you know. After the breakup, people say, what happened, man? What, was it a big thing? And I'm like, I don't know, it depends on how you look at it. We couldn't agree on the definition of this exit and next exit. <laughs> I was driving, and she said, get off at the next exit. So I pulled off. She said, why, why did you get off here? I told you to get off at the next exit. <laughs> I thought we could get off here and buy a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm asking women out. I don't know how to do that smoothly. I watch the movies. It goes down so smoothly in the movies. Would you like to have dinner on Saturday? I would love that. <laughs> I'll pick you up at 8. <laughs> Wait a second. Even if they're interested, isn't there more planning? Would you like to have dinner on Saturday? I would like that, but I can't Saturday because my sister's flying into town Saturday. We're going out Saturday night. We can have dinner on Friday. I'll pick you up at 8. 8 o'clock's not going to work because my company's having an office party Friday night, and I probably should go to that, and that might go to like 9 o'clock. But we could have a late dinner, like a 10 o'clock dinner Friday. I'll, I'll pick you up at 9.30. <laughs> Don't you need to know where I live? I do need that information. I live out in Jefferson Township, but if you take Route 27 to get there, you're not gonna be able to take that all the way into the township because they're doing construction the last two miles. So when you get about two miles outside of my township, you have to shoot over and pick up a, a street. It's called the Elm Meadow Lane. We're gonna take that the final two miles and it meanders around and then you'll end up parallel with my township. So you'll be coming into the township from the west. So when you enter the township, you'll see Alhambra Apartments. But you can't park in front of my building because they're doing water treatment out front, which was supposed to be completed like three months ago and nobody knows what's going on. But there are tennis courts across the street and it says no parking on the fence, but no one's gonna bother you because everybody knows about the water treatment. It's okay to park there for the short term. <laughs> Street. My buzzer's been very glitchy. Don't even bother hitting the apartment buzzer. I have to call from the cell. I'll hear you. I'll meet you out front. And I should tell you I'm gluten-free. <laughs> I need a scrap piece of paper. <laughs> good at the dating thing, man. Out of practice. I, I, I used a com I complimented a woman the other day, and I thought it was a nice compliment, but she didn't take it that way. So here's a little tip for the guys. If you're ever talking about a woman, don't ever use this word. And it doesn't matter what word you put around it. They're not going to hear the other words. They're going to hear this word. Um, I'm talking about the word schnoz. <laughs> Like, you have the cutest, most 
beautiful, sexiest, usually with a scorecard involved. So they can come back with that scorecard and feel less weird about being with guys. That's why we're together. 28 to 12. The guy would ask another guy to go golfing or bowling, even fishing sort of has a score. A guy would ask another guy to go fishing, but a guy would never ask another guy to do the same exact thing, but leave out the fishing part. Hey, Charlie, I was thinking this weekend, I could swing by, pick you up, head out to this lake I know about. It's beautiful out there. Watch the sunrise. The way that glistens off the lake in the early morn is something I wouldn't want you to miss. <laughs> I figured we could just spend the day sitting real close together on a boat. <laughs> you up to doing something like that with me? <laughs> Can we try to kill something? <laughs> it goes down better than coming back with some dead bodies in the back of the truck. <laughs> Same with hunting. Imagine describing that, but just leave out the actual hunting part. Hey, Toby, good news. I found a tree fort out in the woods. I figured you and I could cozy up in that all night. Maybe wear some matching outfits. If the situation's right, maybe we could put some makeup on each other's faces. 